He looks up there to the right. Every one of those positions are critical points. One lap to go now. Burton leads it. And Tony Stewart down to the inside of Mark Martin. Tony Stewart going for the lead, going for second spot. And now he's going for the lead. Working turn two of the final lap, working onto the back stretch. Mark Martin comes up trying to help Burton. Tony Stewart's out there all alone, but here comes Kendall. Hopefully give him a little bit of help as they move down the back stretch. Stewart moves to third place. I thought Stewart had a great run there, not quite able to do it. Meanwhile, here comes Mark Martin and Tony Stewart. And look at Stewart keep that car on the bottom of the racetrack. Here he's going to try to take second spot away from Mark. Coming to the line, it's going to be Jeff Burton. The question, who's going to run second? Looked to me like Martin may have gotten a couple of inches on Stewart, but that's a total finish for second. Jeff Burton becomes now the 34th driver in IROC history to win an IROC race. Congratulations to Jeff Burton. Nice run. When we come back, Jack Aroot will talk with our newest winner. See if Bobby Labonte has anything at all for the car number nine of Jeff Burton's final lap. They are less than a mile and a half from the checkered flag in the Pepsi 200 at Michigan. The separation is two car lengths down the back stretch, entering turn three. In the corner, the slow car could be a factor as he come off turn four and coming down for the checkered flag. Fourth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. will finish fifth. Here comes Mark Martin and Bobby Hill, and this is the battle for sixth spot. On the turn four, Hill in the 